Greetings and love and kindness. This is Dr. K, and this is the fifth video, and it is the next day, and it's about five o'clock in the evening. And um, I went to the stores last night, and I could not find the brand of castor oil that I wanted to use to put the drops in my eyes. So I basically just kept um, putting the castor oil on my face, just lotioning my skin with it and around my eyes. And I must tell you that all night long, I didn't have any problems. Um, not much at all. I felt some grit and some stickiness in my eye, but through the night I kept putting the um, silver in my eye. And um, and when I woke up this morning, I had no pain and I had no grit and it wasn't sticking to my eye. And um, I'm telling you, it's just amazing that um, I did not put two and two together with castor oil patches for the eye and uh, alleviate the inflammation and the constriction in the vessels and... Um, self-correct that dry eye you know and it was amazing to me that at one point it had gotten so bad that I really thought that uh, I was gonna go to the hospital and I had to laugh at myself because I know there was nothing that they could do for me so I knew not to go and I sat back and I trusted in myself and I uh, went out and did some research and found out again that the majority of the ingredients is used in um, eye products from the drug industry include castor oil and so, no, I didn't put the drops in my eye, but I do plan on doing that eventually. Uh, again, I have no pain in my eye all day long. You can see how bright the room is. I've been going in and out of light. Um, no pressure in the eye whatsoever. Um, the eye is uh, somewhat still red. And, you know, you can see that a little bit. It is somewhat still red. But it's not nowhere near as bad as it was. But I believe the redness that I see now is from the shock and trauma that I went through when it was going through that very, very dry, painful state. And I'm telling you, the pain that I was in, I know that it was sent some people to the hospital to um, have them do something about it. But I'm telling you, if you just relax and trust in nature and uh, apply the good things, and then um, your body can make the change that it needs to make. Again, I know that that was corrected um, externally. I know that there are some things that I must look at internally, uh, physically, um, how I feed in my body for one thing, and um, the mental thoughts that have occurred that go along with um, looking at the eyes and what has happened in my life in the past four years and the changes that I have made this year alone. And again, like I said in the other videos, um, I worked with a lot of clients this year that had eye issues and was getting off their medication. So a lot of that, all that plays a part into what just happened with me. And um, I am just tremendously excited about the uh, opportunity to record this journey over the last couple of days and the outcome of trusting in um, the universal laws of life and trusting in myself and knowing that the answer lies within to ask myself what things have I done and how can I correct this issue and um, I'm just so glad that I did that I went out and did the research and then I found uh, another video on YouTube of a young lady that actually used the um, castor oil drops in her eyes and her eyes are really really white and bright and so I do plan on trying that and just to see what will happen when I do that when the product does do come in so it will probably be one more video added to this after that time but to let you know that just by applying it topically to my eyes the pressure went away and I'm telling you this was extreme pressure it was I felt like my eyeball was coming out of my head and I just didn't know what to do and um, I just trusted that the information the answer would come to me and it did and this way I can share with other people uh, about simply using that as not only as external when we, when we see swelling in the extremities part of the body or to support the abdominal um, part of the body but all over the body I used to use casserole all the time on my skin but at one point I stopped and started using olive oil but I'm going back to using casserole at least on my face my hands and my feet, um, if not my whole body, you know, but uh, I'm telling you, casserole is a wonderful thing, and this has been a great opportunity for me to share, and family, I want to tell you, step up out of the dark ages of disease care, anytime something happens to you, don't just first run to a doctor, sit back and see what you can do to support yourself, and um, again, I'm making some major changes um, with my diet, I know I need to go back to um, doing some other things, 
to support my body even more because um, that had a lot to do with what went on with my eyes as well as my consciousness. That had a lot to do with it too. And that's what I'm telling you. Health is all about consciousness. We must pay attention to the things that we are thinking and the things that we are allowed into our consciousness and how we're dealing with those things as well as we look at the diet and we look at the environment around us and what we're doing. And I'm telling you, conscious health care is the answer. It is the truth, so it helped me. It is the truth. I'm telling you, wake up and think a new way. It's time to bear disease thinking. It's time to bear disease care. Know that we have cellular malfunctions because we have scrambled information and the cells do not receive the truth, the energy, or the information. And it's time for us to get back in balance. And that's what I have done today. I've reached a balancing point. And I know that you can reach one too. So come join me on this self-care. Come join me on this freedom train. Come on and go with me on this Harriet Tubman's ride. A ride to freedom from pharmacide and nutricide. And yes, and yes, the sad, 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 sad standard American diet. So again, this is Dr. Khadija Abdul Malik, also known as Dr. Karen Davis. Folks, this is the first video of me recording something that has occurred to me personally in my health care. And I hope that these videos have will be uh, encouragement and support to you to find the solution the natural way. No matter what you're going through, the answer is within nature. You are nature. Stop looking into nature and recognize how great you are, how wonderful you are how wonderful we all are. We all are interrelated and interconnected. There is no separation. So let's think one, human, race, one, loving each other and caring for each other. So again, for the dry eye, castor oil. I use it on my face. I use pure silver to keep the infection out of my eye. And I'm telling you, I've been in and out all day long. You can see my eyes are opening bright. I have no pain. I've been coming in and out of light. And it's just simply gone away. And I really would have thought with the pain, the excruciating pain that I was having, the red bloodshot eye that I had, I mean, I just knew that it was going to be a long time. And here it is just one day later. And um, everything is wonderful. So family, trust in yourself. Learn the laws of life mental, physical, nutritional, and trust that you can self-correct with it using natural products, doing things the natural way. This is Dr. K saying peace and love. Peace, love, health, and wealth to you all. Thank you so very much. I look forward to hearing from you. All right, family. 